you are here for Mama Yenti, great for no more baby do Ghana no. The Ghana for a catcher or more. Returnees from the Gulf nation of Kuwait. A number of them are people who voluntarily put in the application to return home. There are others who were deported because they were illegally residents in the Gulf nation. This is the first batch of repatriation exercise the administration is going to undertake to bring into the country all Ghanaians, residents abroad who have put in an application to return. About two weeks ago, we started planning for this particular operation, Operation Return Home. And a number of things were considered. One was where they were coming from, the kinds of conditions they must come with. So some of the discussions were that they need to be tested. Their status needs to be known. And the type of test to be considered should be like serological test, blood test. So it is easy to know uh, whether they are infected and all those things. That has been done in Kuwait anyway, before they're coming. Exactly. And the resource is zero. None of them actually even, I mean, by the grace of God. So in Kuwait, all these 246 returnees have tested, have tested. Negative, negative for COVID. Yes, as far as we know to today. After this whole screening exercise is done, they go into not less than 14 day mandatory quarantine. If they pass the test and come out negative, are they going to be allowed to walk? Yes. Or the laws of the land are now going to deal with them for what they did by going through the process of residents in Kuwait illegally? Why they are even brought back here to start with? <laughs> so that is important. I mean, a number of them have not done anything really. I mean, this is voluntary return. And so, in the wake of an, a global pandemic in which citizens are the first obligations and priorities of every government, wherever they may be, whether it's in the United States, whether it's in Ghana, whether it's in the UK, wherever, the obligation of every government is its population. It includes foreigners. But its obligation is towards its own citizens. It's your comment on about observing uh, these returnees. 246 of them. Well, first of all, I think we are very happy to receive our compatriots in Ghana. Uh, I think their demeanor uh, is quite positive. I think they are happy to be here and they are conducting themselves well so far. With all of the information we share with them, I don't see any of them reacting uh, in a manner that will show that they will not cooperate. I think they also hope for the best for the country. What we've gotten so far is that the tests are generally negative so far, but then our own internal uh, medical experts will conduct another round of tests to make sure that they're truly negative and that they'll be allowed to go home. So today marks the end of the talks, the talks you had with the Saudi Authority and other governments across the world, and the beginning of the real work of getting these Ghanaians resident abroad back home. How dwelling do you see or foresee this whole exercise getting in the coming days? I guess you may be right in saying that at the beginning of housing them back home and taking them through the process that they have to go through. Uh, and I think the most important thing to be concerned about is the resettlement. For them to go back home, or for them to find jobs, for them to engage themselves more uh, productively, I think that's a real headache that we all have. But